The energy for the 48th Bloomsday race is contagious from the starting line to the dreaded or celebrated Doomsday Hill to the finish line. Whether it's just a sprinkle or an outright downpour, nothing is stopping these bloomies from hitting the pavement today. Bring on the rain, I think it's more slippery. We can slide down the hills, it'll be fantastic. Some embraced the idea of Mother Nature's early morning shower. You gotta stay warm and the easiest way to stay warm is a robe. Once they've all warmed up, runners flung layers upon layers upon layers into the trees. Of course, all these clothes are donated to a local charity. The anticipation begins to build as more than 30,000 runners march to the starting line. This is my first bloom day. I'm trying to beat my time from last year. Together, they count down to the moment they've been waiting for. It's all smiles at the start. <laughs> that is until they reach Doomsday Hill. As you're around the bend and you just see tiny specks of color kind of going up over the hill, do you truly realize what a what a battle is going to be? It's an exhaustingly steep climb, but runners still mustered up the energy to celebrate at the top with the Bloomsday Vulture. <laughs> then it's downhill from there. Oh, so great. So good. <laughs> I was shooting for number one today. Looking great, everybody. With vibes like these, it's no wonder these bloomies forgot all about the rain. Everybody, congratulations on a great race, on a great day. Well, if you were not a part of Blooms Day today, you definitely missed out. All that positive energy just continued throughout every part of the race. Congratulations, Bloomies. Reporting in downtown Spokane, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.